All right, quick how-to video on how to fix your gear selection indicator on your FJ09, which is usually right there. I think FZ07s, FZ09s, all the MT Chingaderos have the same problem. Super fucking easy. First of all, take off your countershaft sprocket cover. If you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't own a motorcycle. Shut up, dog. I'm trying to do a video. Anyways, take that off. Right behind it, you will find this which is this. It sits in here like this or something like that. The wire's on the right-hand side. Pull it off. This is how you know what gear you're in because you stopped counting and you rely solely on technology. But when this fails you, this is how you fix it. Take some handy-dandy 400-grit sandpaper and go right on those contact points right there. And once you get those brushed up a little bit, Take this, put it right back to where you found it. Put your case cover back on. And then suddenly, all of your gears will work. I mean, they worked before. You just didn't know which one you were in based on the dash. But now you, now you got it. It's super easy, man. Super easy. I had to go chase my dog, but I'm back now. Bada boom, bada bang. That's all the tools that it took me right there. A number four Allen wrench, a number five Allen wrench, and... <laughs> A little piece of... God dang it! Shh, I'm trying to film here! Anyways, that's all it took. 400 grit sandpaper. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Good to go. And don't mind this. I know it looks a little weird. I run reverse shift because I'm a cool kid. Yo, VIP! Now let's give her a test. Ah, <laughs> uh, neutral works. Let's see. First gear didn't work before. ooh we got first gear. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear works too. Fifth gear. Oh, we got six gear, 22 miles an hour, 21 on the center stand. Woohoo, baby. Now my dog's chasing other dogs again. Get back here, dog. One last thing. Since you have your handy dandy, sexy Motion Pro four and five millimeter T handles out, go ahead and go through all of your bolts on your FZ and your FJs and all of that stuff because I've noticed that some of them tend to back out. Perfect example, every other oil change or so, I go over all my bolts. However, I just spotted this. She was backing out. So just go through your bolts, all of these. Subframe, all that stuff. I had a subframe bolt right here back out on me once too. So, these things are buzzy. Just give them a check. Right, dog? Yeah, that's, that's agreement. Just take care of it. So, if you like this and other videos that I've made, like, hit the like. Uh, the like. Uh, the like and subscribe. Uh, don't even worry about it, because my videos are stupid anyways. Hmm. But I hope this helped.